Section 5 Chamber Microclimate Controls Chamber CO2 concentration is controlled using an installed CO2 cartridge. A new LC Pro T is fitted with an empty cartridge. To fit a new CO2 cartridge, turn the console upside down and remove the battery compartment cover. Use tool LCM146 at the wider end to unscrew the cartridge holder. You will find a set of 10 fresh cartridges in the spares kit. The cartridge is held by a magnet at one end of the holder. Install the holder, turning it clockwise and then using the tool to quickly tighten the holder until it is securely in place. As the fresh cartridge is punctured inside the console, you should hear a sharp, short hissing sound. Check that the cartridge is fully tightened and then replace the battery compartment cover. To control the CO2 concentration using the software, enter the climate menu and select C set to control the reference CO2 concentration. Default is ambient, use the keypad to enter a value and the tick icon to select and confirm. The pop-up message can be ignored at this point. C reference and C analysis can be viewed through the menus. Enter options and CO2 mode. Here you can control whether the CO2 is controlled in normal mode or fast in fast mode. The source can also be changed. Bottle only indicates a CO2 cartridge is installed. Use the power page button to confirm. Here you can see the C reference value, which will gradually reach the set value. This is achieved using a mixture of the CO2 from the cartridge and the ambient air through the reference tubing. Monitor this value either using the screen or by setting a graph. Here you can select the X and Y axes. Up to four legends can be selected on the Y axis. The graph will be plotted anywhere between every 2 and 30 seconds or every log record, which means a data point is only taken when you record a data point, either manually or, as we will see later on, using a sequence file. Here you can monitor the C ref which is now approaching the set value of 1500 in this example. An additional menu screen for the graph is now available as you swipe across the four screens. Chamber temperature control. Enter climate, T set at the top. The default setting is ambient. Begin to enter a value and use the green arrow to confirm the change. Here the chamber temperature is now set to 30 degrees. The Peltier heat exchanger at the base of the chamber will achieve this set temperature value. Here you can see the fan begins to turn when you change temperature from ambient to a set value. Chamber Humidity H2O Control. From the climate menu, select E set and change the default value from ambient from anywhere between 0 and 21 millibar. 
This achievable value will change depending on the temperature of the console. Take out the spare column with the foam inside and replace with a filled wetter column of iron sulfate. Attach the thermistor cable to the back of the console and refer to the main manual under the section humidity. In this section 9.6 you will find the reference tables to calculate the achievable values for relative humidity at your operating temperature. Select the reference H2O value, enter options, H2O mode, this will give you the option to control on reference or analysis. This can remain as the default in most cases. Select wetter column as filled now that we have filled the wetter column. Exit this menu and here you can see the E reference value changing to the set value. This is given in millibar. Once your set value has been achieved, the LC Prote is ready to control the chamber at your desired H2O value. Light control by white or red, green, blue LED light unit. LC Pro T is supplied with one light unit, either white or RGB as standard. Both options can be purchased. Connect the light unit cable into the handle socket. Use the plastic clip to secure the cable. Lift up the metal tab at the back of the light unit, slide into the grooves on the upper jaw and release the clip once the light unit is securely in place. From the climate menu, you can see Q total to set the total PAR. The range says zero until with the RGB light unit, you have set the relative quantities of R to G to B. First set the red LEDs, entering a value using the keypad. Here we will set R, G and B to equal quantities. The software rounds to the nearest whole number. Now the total range available is 2,344 micromoles. With the total value set, you can check that the RGB light unit is operating within the chamber. Choose the PAR option at the top right and here you can see absolute values rather than percentages for each of red, green, blue and total. Changing the value from this screen would change the ratio unless you only change Q total. These two options allow great versatility when programming experiments to replicate natural light or taking measurements under different conditions 